There are two folds and a variation of the second that we will show. The first can be called a gift wrap fold, the second a straight edge fold, and the third is a straight edge fold with some of the excess trimmed off prior to stretching to reduce the amount of canvas at the corners. After stretching and stapling the first two sides of canvas, fold the side of the canvas in and the top down. Do this on both the top and bottom of the canvas and then place the canvas back into the machine. After stretching and stapling the last two sides, you will be left with canvas corners that look like this. After stretching and stapling the first two sides of canvas, fold the side of the canvas in and the top down. However, this time, slide the fold on the top of the canvas out to the edge. Do this on the top and bottom of the canvas and then place the canvas back into the machine. After stretching and stapling the last two sides, you will be left with canvas corners that look like this. The main difference between this and the previous corner fold is that excess canvas has been trimmed off of the four corners before stretching. Determining the proper place to cut will take some trial and error. A good place to start would be to lay the canvas on a flat surface and place the frame on top. Fold the canvas up toward the corner of the frame and mark the canvas where it touches. Trim the excess canvas off there. Once you figure out what works best for you, you can build a template with trim lines in Photoshop. Then, you can drop images into that template and print it with trim lines to speed up production using this corner fold method. As you have seen here, the fold is done the same way as the previous example. After stretching and stapling, you'll be left with canvas corners that look like this. The only difference between this and the regular straight edge fold is the amount of material that is left in the corner. Here, you can see what the back of the canvas looks like. First, the gift wrap fold, followed by the straight edge fold, and then the alternate straight edge fold where the canvas corner was trimmed. In terms of time, the gift wrap fold will be the fastest, followed by the straight edge fold. The alternate straight edge fold will take the longest because of the trimming, but tends to produce the neatest corners.